So hi, this is Dr. Rusha. I'm here with June, and uh, she's had a really cool uh, journey the whole way, but especially lately, a little bit of a bump in the road. And so I, I wanted to capture this moment. Um, so in brief, when you came in, she had hypothyroid. She didn't know if she had Hashimoto's or not, which we found Hashimoto's. And um, we had also found H. pylori and Epstein-Barr virus, which contribute to Hashimoto's quite significantly. Um, you had already been on the paleo diet, mm -hmm. and so the, the, the dietary piece was already perfect. But she had Hashimoto's, and she had fairly high Hashimoto's antibodies, and um, what we found was it was the Epstein-Barr virus and the H. pylori infection that were most likely driving the antibodies up, and those have been both been shown to drive up Hashimoto's antibodies. So we've been treating those, and it looks like those are pretty much cleared, and the antibodies have come down. That's kind of the clinical side of things, but how about, you know, throughout that process, what was your experiential change that you noticed? Um, so immediately my energy was back. So this was last December, so it's almost a year now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got, my energy was back. I started sleeping through the night, which was a really big one because sure. I had really bad insomnia. Um, my sugar cravings started to um, subside, and um, what else? I was getting a lot of hot flashes. Those kind of went away. Right. Right. Um, generally, my overall energy was better, and oh, and I started losing weight, so I lost about 10 pounds. Sure. Uh, and, mo and just right around my belly. Sure. Um, so, yeah, that's... So... Generally, I just... Yeah became a new person I just felt alive <laughs> and I felt great and people were telling me I felt great that I looked great sure so yeah I mean she, she was was doing really well and just recently a little bit of a bump in the road so um, I had an unplanned um, lunch break or, or I, I didn't get to go home for lunch as I expected and I ended up running into Safeway and getting egg salad not thinking to ask what was in it and um, the next day, I was horribly tired. I had brain fog, and that night I threw up, and my belly looked like I was pregnant. I was just so bloated and distended and hurting, and didn't sleep that night. And now that's been about three weeks, and I'm still having problems with my gut. I found out that there was breadcrumbs in the, the egg salad, um, which it, I just n it never occurred to me to ask. Sure. Um, so I've been getting stomach aches. I've been getting um, very burpy after I eat. Um, when when there's nothing in my stomach, I get a stomach ache. Um, bone broth and um, meat actually make me feel better. Um, sure. I've been off kind of low on raw vegetables, raw fruit, just eating cooked stuff and meat. And um, but still, it's three weeks now, and I'm better than I was. Um, but I'm still not all the way better. So sure. this was. I, I never got so sick when I would eat gluten before, but I've been off gluten for about seven years, and um, I don't know if I've had gluten contamination in the Which, past. Which, by the way, good job. It's, that's a good stretch I know, it's pretty good, really. <laughs> to avoid. Um, so, so I think you would fall into that classification of someone who's highly gluten sensitive. At this point, yeah. And, and, there, and there's, a, there's a spectrum, and uh, I think people should identify where they are on the spectrum and, and practice adherence to a corresponding level because not everyone has to be super diligent like you have to be. Right. Um, and if they can get away with a little bit of exposure, not the best thing in the world, but there's no need to make their life a living hell trying to avoid gluten and every possible thing if yeah. a little bit's not going to bother them. Yeah. But you're the kind of person that the other end. you want to definitely be super diligent because, um, I mean, you know, here, here you go. So I just thought that was a really interesting uh, kind of manifestation that different people will certainly have a, a large spectrum of intolerance. Yeah. So you learn the hard way, but I mean, <laughs> good lesson. But I guess you only burn your hand on the stove once, That's and right. then you don't, <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah. touch it again. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Is there anything else that you think is uh, interesting to share, maybe? Um, no. I mean, just aside from this, um, I've been feeling great, and, and yeah, you've done great. People compliment me that I that I look fabulous, and I'm 61, and people are shocked to hear that I'm 61. Yeah. So, yay. That's always makes so you feel good. makes you feel good, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for yeah. talking with us. Sure, my pleasure. Okay.